the letter Z in two point perspective, draw out your horizon line using the two outermost edges as our vanishing points. Let's create a block. Start out with your vertical line, tells you how tall it's going to be, and use your left vanishing point to create the left side of that block. Maybe we go to about there. And then we need to use the right vanishing point to create the right side. This will show you how wide the letter Z is going to be. So kick it out a little farther. There's my hinge. We're going to be erasing some of that away, so keep that in mind. I think of the letter Z like two horizontal pieces with a diagonal in between. So I'm going to go from this corner, but not corner to corner. I'm going to kick this a little ways in. And then I'm going to use this corner, the bottom corner, and it will also be a little bit to the left of here. So not corner to corner. Just check that out. All right, so I'm going to add in this horizontal top piece, but nothing stays horizontal. It's angling out to the right, so we got to use our right vanishing point. And that is done. Same thing for the bottom. It's not going to be horizontal. It's going to angle to our right vanishing point. Draw that in. That is done. So now I need this diagonal piece. I'm going to go from this corner, but slightly in. So over here, this corner, slightly in. Maybe there. I'm going to leave my ruler and slide it away until it runs into this corner over here. You'll see it. There it is. That's where I'm going to draw that in. So my model did, served its purpose, and we need to erase. No Frankenstein letters. Get rid of what is dividing it into parts. And there's no line on either side, so we got to get rid of it here. And that sets me up for corners that I'm going to have to deal with and use my vanishing points. Same thing back here. Possibly. Maybe not. Well, we'll see. All right. Check corners. Put your pencil point on the left vanishing point. And then lean your ruler against it and start scanning the corners of your letter Z. The first one's always done. But I'm going to run into this one. So I'm going to send it. I'm going to put my pencil point back on to the left vanishing point and start scanning. That inside corner right there. We do need it. So go ahead and draw a line. You can draw all the way if you want. We are going to end up erasing some of it away. Pencil point on the left vanishing point and start scanning again. There is one more corner. And I don't think this one will go. No, because that will draw through our letter. And same with that outer one. That's not going to go. All right, so whenever we are erasing away from our hinge, and we did that here, follow those back in space. Here are the back corners. We have to erase between those as well. Now when I erase, it makes me think, corner showing up. That means, let me just write that we erased. I have a corner on the left side of this hinge, which has to go to the opposite vanishing point. So I'm going to connect this corner to my right vanishing point, and it's going to run into this diagonal line and create another corner. Draw that in where these meet up, we're simply going to erase the rest of it. And then in order to create this back edge, just bring your ruler to the diagonal that we created. We sort of designed it ourselves right there. Keep it in that position and slide, or actually no, actually I'm simply gonna take this, this corner and I'm gonna match it up with that corner there. So I did kind of change that up a little bit. All right, and now we can shade. So the sides include this as a side. Down here is a side. I like these, they're kind of cool. Kind of cool looking. And then you can like vary, you know, kind of create some variation between what you do here. I would maybe make this slightly darker than the sides. And I'm going to make that, I'm going to treat that like it's a top. So I'm going to darken that right in. Mm. 
And that would be what a letter Z in two point perspective looks like. Um, if this was a thin slice, this is what I would do. I'm going to just um, start with this side up here because once it hits these corners, I've got to angle right and then angle down. So I'm just going to start over here and say, this is my side. There's a corner. I'm going to angle it towards the right vanishing point. It's going to run into this diagonal corner seam. And then here, that's a back corner. I'm going to match this angle, slide it, draw that down until it hits there. And then that's going to be where I do another vertical line. And then maybe darken this in here. And then I would take my eraser and I would erase all the rest of this away and that will give you a thin slice letter Z in two-point perspective.